Ever wondered, what it's like to be the smartest person on earth? Well, Kim grappled with that question growing up. Born with a mind that seemed to break all boundaries, his story is absolutely fascinating. So, buckle up as we explore the incredible journey of Kim Ung Yong, the child prodigy who once worked for NASA. Kim Ung Yong, born on March 8, 1962, in Seoul, South Korea, was destined for greatness from the start. With a physics professor dad and a mom teaching at Seoul National University, Kim's early life set the stage for an incredible academic journey. By the age of one, he already mastered the Korean alphabet, and over 1,000 Chinese characters. By three, he was solving calculus problems, and with his parents' help, published a 247-page book in English and German. But it doesn't stop there. Kim's brilliance continued to shine. By age five, he spoke five languages fluently, Korean, Japanese, English, German, and French. At the same age, he attended university physics classes, and even, scored an astonishing 210 on an IQ test, designed for seven-year-olds, earning a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. Kim's relentless displays of intellect, also reached Fuji TV in Japan. At the age of five, viewers watched in shock, as Kim solved complex differential, and integral calculus problems, showcasing his extraordinary mathematical abilities to the world. This astounding appearance further solidified Kim's reputation as a child prodigy. At eight, Kim's exceptional smarts caught NASA's attention, and he became a researcher at the renowned space agency. For 10 years, he amazed colleagues with his memory and math skills. But working at NASA wasn't all glamorous. The child prodigy felt lonely and disillusioned, leading him to return to South Korea in 1978. I was really lonely. No one ever made friends with me. After work hours, I could exercise and enjoy my hobbies, but no one could accompany me. I came from another country and I was young, so there were no seats for children even though everyone was an adult. Upon returning to South Korea, Kim faced the requirement to formally complete South Korean schooling, to secure a job. Undeterred, he enrolled in Chungbuk National University, where he pursued civil engineering, and ultimately earned a PhD. Some labeled him a failed genius, but Kim stayed positive. In 2014, he achieved his dream of becoming a professor at Shinhan University. His choices might not fit society's expectations, but for Kim Ung Yong, happiness mattered more than world records and high IQ scores. Kim Ung Yong's life teaches as crucial lessons. Despite societal expectations, he prioritized a peaceful and content life over fame and success. His legacy reminds us that happiness comes from within, not external validations. As Kim himself said, I'm trying to tell people that I am happy the way I am. 